What's up, Samurai? Today we're gonna be playing some Satisfactory. I'm going into this game completely blind. I don't know anything about it. Uh, the first viable building location, something had found something, something, rocky desert. That's probably, does the starting area actually matter? The dune desert looks cool. Considered too risky further in, okay. I'm assuming that that just is like harder. And this is like for, uh, uh, for, for when I'm just starting out. Help me. Oh, there's an intro. Onboarding process and start the game at tier one. Nah, I'm just gonna start the game. I don't know if I should do advanced settings or anything. Anyways, I bought this game on the cheap because uh, Cyber Monday, and it's one of those games that people have been suggesting, suggesting, suggesting to me. I know it's on Game Pass, and you know that was gonna be my primary method of playing this game. But what can I say? I just didn't really think it was something that I would end up being into. But I thought, you know what? Let's try it out. Whoa. Uh, sensitivity is a bit insane, so I might have to change that. Also, pioneer. I will move my face cam. The video is a summary of your impending duties as an exoplanetary pioneer for Fixit Incorporated. Okay. Fixit pioneers have three cyclical assigned pillars of work to ultimately accomplish project assembly. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. Okay. This game's all about automation. ...and gather resources to provide desired results and improve your infrastructure. Make sure to report any unusual discoveries to R&D for analysis. Um, I've seen like Feed the Beast and mod packs that kind of Expand do... your factories, outposts, and pipelines through automation and augmentation. This game, but I've, I've never played them myself. That's it. Get to work and be effective. Okay. Um, Planet fall imminent. Please remain seated during full procedure. Huh? Atmospheric entry in five, four, what? three, two, one. Planet fall procedure initialized. Oh, I'm in like an escape pod. Oh, that's cool. This is kind of like, um, why isn't that thing moving? That neither are those. This is kind of like uh, Subnautica. Sweet. But yeah, so um, the only introduction that I had to, you know, these types of games with um, resource gathering and stuff like that, it was more recently I played Outpath on the channel. Um, and I was really surprised how cool that game was. Uh, I didn't think it would be so addicting to, you know, just gather and get numbers to go up. Ooh, this kind of seems like a game that really belongs in VR. Ensure the integrity of your multi purpose exploration suit is at 100%. Eh, I should probably change my FOV. Remember, efficiency first. Guns so I noticed that. Uh, I saw that this game like recently updated into Unreal Engine 5 or something. And can it, oh my God, this is beautiful. It's like No Man's Sky, but it, oh, I was gonna say, but it doesn't run terrible. A, B, B, your designated sector in the binary star system of Akija. God, what is the sensitivity? I am Ada, also known as Artificial Directory and Assistant, tasked to support pioneers such as you in their mission. You are the third of your sector to survive Planetfall. Congratulations. Thank you. Note. Objective-based introduction initialized. Welcome to onboarding. Okay. Uh, hold up, guys. First objective. Oh, First she doesn't stop talking. Off. Okay. The resulting materials will be repurposed to construct a habitat and utility base from now on referred to as the hub. Note, fix it incorporated as cost-effective and efficient. We do not waste. God, that's still super sensitive. I don't know what it is. Like sometimes games just don't, okay. Sometimes games just don't scale right with my, uh... are you sure you want to apply the settings? Yes, that's what I just said. Games don't scale right with my uh, mouse look, my mouse sensitivity on my desktop, playing at 2K and stuff. F, wait, what did it say? Press F to enter dismantle mode and left mouse button to destroy it. Oh, I should also change my face cam slot for you guys. Excuse me, doing this on the fly. Die. 
What? what? No animation or anything? Okay. All important fixit data and communication is recorded and stored in the codex, including these steps. Good. All tutorials, messages, and emails will be saved. Press O to open the codex. Okay. Where? Oh, the tutorials, right. Okay. Open the codex. Uh, yeah. Dismantle the draw pod. Welcome. Uh-huh. At least I can mark them all as red. Second objective. Please ensure you have your Fixit Incorporated Xeno Zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone. Uh. According to Fixit regulations, every pioneer should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats. Xeno Zapper. It just says that it's in my equipment shortcut. Is that what H is? No. Press tab to open the inventory, drag it to your hands. Okay. Third uh, objective. Please familiarize yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. Note, the acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. Okay. V to scan. Oh, and then it just marks all iron nearby or something? Whoa, okay. They're all 300 meters away. That's kind of disgusting. Hold E to gather resources uh, from resource nodes and deposits. Okay, am I fast or anything? Also, where's my FOV? Um, Camera movement, strength, head bob. I don't care about any of that stuff. Where, where my FOV, bro? Motion blur is off by default. Thank you. That's how you know this is a good game. Oh, it's actually got DLSS going on. I'm fine with that, honestly. Field of view, 90. That did not feel like 90 to me. Either way, 100 is what I always do. Uh, first person FOV modifier. First person. Can I play in third person? I would much rather play in third person if that's the case. Okay, let's uh, wait. Where'd that or go? Kind of annoying that I got to rescan for it, but whatever. <laughs> Do I lose stamina? I need to also go to my settings later and turn on uh, toggle run because right now it's not toggled and it's a bit annoying. So I guess they want me to like zap things. <laughs> it's literally just a taser. That's funny. Oh, God. Is that it? By that weird lion thing? Okay, yeah, you're guarding my iron. That's my iron, you stupid creature. Welcome to my planet, because it's not yours anymore. Get over here. Get over here, you scum. Gah! Yeah, that's what you think. But I can circle straight faster than you. Get over here. Get over here. Why are you so, why are you so fast? Yeah, that's right. That's right. You ran so fast, you ragdolled yourself, you stupid. The remains of this creature <laughs> might shed light on how to increase chances of survival. A what? new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Uh, what? Press E to start mining ore. Oh, this is the only one I can start mining. Fourth objective, build the hub. Note. To complete this objective, the resources salvaged from the draw pod will be consumed. Caution. Ensure the hub is built on spacious open terrain close to the presence of iron sources. Failure to do so will likely result in non-optimal progress. Okay. Uh, to improve efficiency, the hub is best built near iron nodes. The hub can be found in the build menu by pressing Q. Okay. Whoa. Dear God. Okay. Whoa. Sure. Let's just do that then. Now what? <laughs> it's uh, missing parts. Invalid aim location. Okay. Uh, whatever it Congratulations. says. Congratulations. You have unlocked. 
Hub feature, manual craft bench. Hub feature, hub terminal. Fifth objective, complete hub upgrade one. Note, the craft bench and hub terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. Okay. Does it want me to craft all of these? It doesn't seem to be crafting. Input, output. Oh, because it doesn't have energy? Is that why? Hub upgrades and their cost can be found in activating the hub terminal. Okay. Um, let's see. Hub upgrade. Oh, this will give us those and it costs uh, rods or something. Uh, parts like iron rods can be crafted at the bench. Uh... Oh. But in order to do that, I need to craft this iron. Oh, I gotta hold it? Gross, bro. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's the point, is it's eventually going to end up becoming automated, right? Wow, I'm really starting at the bottom, aren't I? Uh, okay. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Okay, sweet. Congratulations. You have unlocked building workshop equipment portable miner inventory additional slots hub feature personal storage. Oh, okay. Sixth objective complete hub upgrade to note. Portable miners require no power and will mine a node until their inventory is full. Note, multiple portable miners can be used on a single node. Well, at least they tell me that, because otherwise I was just going to test it. All right, sweet. Uh, store all. I don't know if... I hope this thing, like, takes from my storage chest. The equipment workshop is used to craft equipment like the portable miner. Okay. Wait, this thing is... The equipment workshop. Where? Where? What equipment workshop? What? What? There's a. What? Portable miner can be placed on the ground nearby a research node. Uh, left bumper while it is equipped. Remember to enter build mode with it. Okay. Oh, I need to craft this first. Okay, but I'm missing. Yeah, it's not taking all the resources out of my personal chest. That's a little bit annoying, but whatever. Okay, so I got to mine more myself. I don't know how much more any of mine, but uh, anyway. Uh, buildings can be dismantled without any loss of resources. Oh, okay. That's nice. So, I need... The equipment workshop, which requires two more of those and six sheets. Can I, um... I wish that it would, like, automatically craft it next to it, but okay. Uh, can I do... Maybe I can do, like, this? And the... Oh, it, I was gonna say, I can I put down, like, a blueprint and then just slowly add stuff to it myself? Build menu, close, save hologram to hawk back. Nah, that's okay. Okay, so I need two more of the bars and then six of that other thing. Oh. Which I assume is the plate. That's a to-do list, craft, select, okay. Whoops. Well, I got enough of those, but now I don't have enough of these. I see. Each thing costs like a different variation of the resource, so I gotta watch out. I crafted a little too many of that. Okay. I mean, I kind of am very surprised how slow this game is starting. I mean that in a good way, because it starting this slow means that when you get to the automation, like that would be really gratifying, where it's like, oh. Now I don't need to do this crap anymore, you know? But uh I'm just I'm just really surprised. Okay. Uh let's do 
Can I not like just I wanna put it on the on the side of this? Oh, I can just do like that. Oh. Whatever, sure. Okay. And then portable miner. Oh my god. But I guess at least after this I would have so much more ore that it wouldn't really matter, would it? Uh, so let's do... Oh, we only need two more of these. Let's go. Perfect amount. Or not, apparently. Still missing one more. Gross. There we go. Okay. Uh... Only show affordable recipes. Oh, I see, because it could get out of hand later. Well, I'll just make a bunch of those and hope that I need them down the line. Why did I hear like a demon? Okay, anyway. Uh, wait, where did it go? I crafted it. Where did it go? No, it's in my inventory. Press Q, left mouse button while it is equip. That's very weird that it doesn't show up in there, but whatever. Okay. Oh, because it's not a build thing. Oh, that's cute. Dude, that's actually so cool. I didn't expect it to be so animated. Heck yeah, go little buddy. How do you, fast do you, oh my God. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, and then I could add stuff to the to-do list, which would show its recipe. Add to to-do list. Yeah, there we go. Get get off my menu. Okay, one more iron rod. And then... Okay. And then let's get him a little friend. Oh, dude, this is actually oddly satisfying. How do um, <coughs> how do I actually put stuff on my friggin' hotbar, bro? I do not know how. Here you go, little buddy. And I wonder if later down the line I could get things to craft automatically as well. Which would be pretty interesting. Because doing this is a bit annoying. Like, kind of just sitting here like an idiot. Oh, good. I can just hold space. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I want to make more of these guys. I don't care. They're just so cute. I know that I'm supposed to advance my other thing, but guess what's going to happen? If I can get more of these guys, I can just get more iron. And I'm greedy now. I've got the itch. Now, I don't know, can I get them to farm the pure one? Probably not. There you go, guys. Oh, and then I gotta, right, I gotta grab all the items out of them manually. A little bit annoying, but whatever. Okay, what's for the upgrade? Let's see, oh my dear lord. Oh, that's what's, okay, okay. This is, that scared me. <laughs> so I need uh, 20 of those. Which is gonna kind of suck. I wish I could just set up the amount that I wanted to craft, but maybe I can? I don't know. So I need 10 of these, I think. Which I actually already have, so let's just stay off of that. I should have pinned it. And then I need 20 of the iron rods. And then it looks like we're getting into the wiring already. So that'll be kind of interesting. I hope nighttime never shows up. There's a little too much time spent in menus at the moment, so I'm hoping that, like, as things become more automated, that goes away. 
Okay. Oh. Okay. Double click. I see. Ah! Okay. Sweet. New buildings, new parts, new scannable. You have unlocked hub feature, biomass burner. Scanner feature, copper. New buildings and recipes, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. Seventh objective. Complete hub upgrade 3. Note. Connect buildings to a biomass burner for power. Note. Buildings such as the smelter require a recipe to be set. Advice. Automate the smelting process and use portable miners for optimal results. What? <laughs> uh, okay. So I can put fuel in here. One leaf per 80 minutes. Okay, but this thing isn't actually taking any fuel right now. Interesting. Uh, select a resource to scan building... Buildings like a smelter require a recipe to be selected and require power to function. Biomass burner... Oh, so I gotta build things like the smelter... Buy it? Is that what it's saying? Oh, things go in one end and come out the other. Okay. I don't really know where I would place this then. I guess that comes into play later, huh? Um, hub generates power by consuming biomass like wooden leaves. Power generators and most buildings only have a single power line connected. And where is my single power line? What? What is the point of this room? Okay. Anyway, uh, let's grab all these boys. Because I'm assuming I can use them on uh, the other resource, which is copper. Alright, that's not bad. Wait, what is this? Oh, power line. There it is. Okay, that actually went to my hotbar, but the other thing didn't. Whatever. Very strange. Okay, now is there going to be another stupid creature guarding this? Yep, there is. All right. Guess what, dumb dumb? This is my planet now. Yeah, that's right. Come here, idiot. Uh huh. Thanks for your carapace, you moron. <laughs> He's so cute. Okay, uh. Oh, H toggles the item on and off, but I, I still don't know. Like, it says equipment shortcuts, but it's like, I don't I don't know what that means. I don't know how to do this. Oh, wait, unless it's just mouse wheel? No, it's not. Okay. Or hold mouse wheel? Maybe. Okay, let's farm a bunch of this for myself. My goal is to get to you at least the minimum amount of um, automation. Which it seems like we're about to. Okay, so we actually get two each, so that's not bad. Oh my god. No, I didn't want to actually pick him up. But these guys are hella efficient. Okay, you know what? I'm going to leave two of you guys over here. Actually, what's your inventory capacity? 40 per minute. Jeez. Okay. Uh, let's leave them to their vices over there. And then uh, a couple others over at the iron. Just so that... Oh, God. The night cometh. Just so that we can still be efficient. Because I'm going to need iron at some point. Okay, uh, let's see. So now I need, oh my god, okay. I need faster mining, or whatever. Let's do a crap ton of those. How many of these did I need? 
Uh, the smelter needs eight. But it also needed a bunch of the tube thing. Oh my god, I've already got so much iron. I think it only needed eight of these? Oh, it gives two per. Okay. But that also gets converted into a cable. Kind of gross. Let's see. Yeah, I can do this. So let's do that, I guess. And then what? Oh, okay. So I can put a couple of them down. One for iron, one for, uh, one for the arrow one. Uh, but I, does that mean I have, so there's a power line, but I don't have any way of transporting these items in here yet. I can just swap one to one. That's okay. Copy settings, paste it. Oh my God. This game is kind of intimidating. No power. All right. Oh, need a cable. Okay. I'll make a couple of those because I assume I need a couple of them. Ah, I've done it. Okay, that's working. Is this working right now? Hello? Production pause. It says it's idle. Oh, because it doesn't have any. Uh, there we go. Oh, I can only store a hundred at a time. That's a little gross. Okay. What does it cost for the upgrade? And when do I end up getting conveyor belts? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I just need a crap ton of iron and then some of the copper, which honestly, we already have enough for all of this. We've actually got a real overabundance of resources at the moment, thankfully, because of my little robo dudes. So let's make a bunch of those. Uh, how many plates did I need? Quite a few, I think. Can I just select this as my mission? No, I want, I want active milestone. Uh-huh. Oh, now it shows it in the top right. Okay, I need 20 of each. The other thing is already forging iron, so I actually could probably just go grab out of that. So let's do this. Whew, what a slow intro. <laughs> it's fine. It's just, it's interesting. Okay, where do I get the iron from? Oh. Oh wow, yeah, that does go through it pretty quick. I mean, I guess the point is at least it's something doing it in the idle background, right? There we go. And now I can already do this. Bum, bum, bum. Sweet. New buildings, new parts, new scannable resource. You have unlocked scanner feature, limestone. Oh. New buildings and recipes, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. <sighs> Eighth objective, complete hub upgrade four. Note, use power poles to expand the power network for optimal results. Ah. So I could drag the power nodes all the way out there. <sighs> What does this cost? That's where we get the conveyor belt though. That's when it starts really getting interesting. Okay. Uh, 
And then I need concrete, which is from, I assume, limestone. Yikes. Okay. Yeah, there it is. Limestone. Okay. Hmm. So, first of all, let me uh, put more of that in there, take more of that out, and then... Let's see if we got a limestone nearby. Hopefully. I don't like that thing up in the sky. That thing is scary. Ooh. Oh, is this limestone right here already? I don't really have an easy way of getting back up here, unfortunately. But let me grab my uh, iron dudes. Oh, they're already full. I see. They can only hold 100 as well. Okay. Well... If I throw them down here, we'll be able to get resources pretty dang fast. Hopefully there's none of those stupid hostile things. This is limestone, right? Yeah, it is. Impure. So that means... I bet you the resources become, like, a lot easier later. Because you could find pure nodes. Crafts one part into another part can be automated by feeding parts into it with a conveyor belt connecting to the input the produced parts can automatically be extracted by connected conveyor belts to wait what's the difference between that and a smelter it can be automated by feeding ore oh this is feeding it parts so this this is for the limestone i assume reinforced iron plate Ooh. okay uh, how the heck do I get up here? Do I have, like, a jetpack or something? Also, can it stop being nighttime now? <laughs> uh, please. Alright, uh, let's do that. Let me, uh, let me set this as our main objective here, because this, this is my goal today. Is to at least get this done. Okay, so we'll be able to get enough iron plates, thank God. And we've got plenty more iron that we can make, so it's fine. Unfortunately, this is still insanely slow. Oh, screws. Interesting. Whew. Yeah, that's really slow. And then the copper wiring, that's going to kind of suck. Like, kind of really suck. Because... Yeah. I mean, I guess it's not going to be that bad, but it is just going to, like, slowly add up and be kind of annoying. Because it's... It requires me to go, like, one to another to another. Oh, at least it's only 20, though, so that's not bad. And then the limestone... Uh, oh, I see. It makes concrete. Okay, so this will be pretty easy, then. And then the conveyor belts, that's like, it's a little overwhelming, I'll say. You know, this game is confusing me at the moment. <laughs> uh, but I see the appeal of it. And I see how it could slowly, like, become, you know, as you get, like, a bigger and bigger base and get it all a little more under control, it could end up being pretty dang cool. Uh, give me all that, thank you. Give me all that, thank you. I guess the other thing, too, is I, I take for granted the fact that this game's also got, like, multiplayer. But I, I like how slow-paced it is, at, uh, on one hand. Because it's basically like a first-person version of, um, what was it, Factorio or whatever? Oh, it just converts into concrete, like, flat out. 8, 9, 10. Interesting. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, there was other things I could have crafted. What of it? I don't care. I just want to get the freaking conveyor belt. You have unlocked building conveyor belts and poles. Inventory additional slots. Ninth objective: complete hub upgrade five. Note: portable miners cannot be connected to conveyor belts. Advice: when planning the construction of buildings, note the placement of conveyor belts. Okay, so put conveyor belts first. And then do everything else after. I guess is what they're saying. 
I wish it wasn't nighttime. Like, my god. Oh, that's... Wait, why? Oh, is it out? Oh, it's out of grass. Crap, there's so many things that I have to juggle, bro. Ooh. All right, uh, let's see. So can I make a bunch of these? No, I need some slabs first. Which I can make. Oh, wait a minute. The parts... The smelter can smelt ore. The parts thing will be able to convert those into iron plates for me. I see. Now, how do I, it, it says I can't put the, can't put the robots onto the uh, conveyor belts, but can I put, uh, hello? Conveyor belt, building, yes. Oh, I click and then drag. Oh, okay. So I can just do this. And then can I, uh... Okay, I can ride it myself. But how do I, how do I put the ore on it? Is there a way to drop these? Iron ore. <laughs> how do I do this? How do I, how do I get this started? Okay. Power lines, conveyor belt, uh-huh. Conveyor pole, pole. Can be used as a connection for conveyor belts. The height of the pole can be adjusted. Useful to route conveyor belts in a more controlled manner over long distances. I don't know what that is, but okay. Uh, Transports up to 60 resources per minute used to move resources between buildings. So I can't just put the raw resource here. I have to have a building. I guess. Uh, okay, so hold on. How, how do I... Uh, F. Right, because I can get my resources back. Okay, okay, okay. So essentially what I would do with this is this is actually more like the starting position until I could get, I guess there's like another robot or something that we could get that eventually would go here and like automatically put it in, I, I assume. Is my power already gone? Oh my god. Okay. My brain. <laughs> my brain <laughs> like I understand but it hurts okay so like okay okay so let me see here so I could do like one of these like let's say I do like this and okay I can't afford I wish I could just put down the blueprint I'm sure there's a way to do that but I wish there was a way I could just put it down and then like look into it, right? So essentially what I would do is I have... No, I don't want to have the ore there. Uh... Okay, let me see here. So if I go to the copper, and then there's no reason, I, I don't think, I don't think I need the raw copper like ever. So essentially what I would do is put a smelter down here, which uh, doesn't seem like I can do. Oh, cause I'm missing wires. Oh, good. Okay. Essentially I put the smelter up here and then the conveyor belts to bring all of the ore back to my base because I'm still gonna have to manually load up the smelter anyways. And then I'm gonna have to have wires go all the way over there to power it. Yeah. Okay. It's... Interesting. Albeit I'm very overwhelmed right now. 
Like, again, once I would really get the hang of it and know all of these resources by heart and stuff, like, it would, uh, it would essentially become a lot easier to manage. So, for example, there's no reason why I would ever not need wire to be the first thing forged, at least at the moment, because wire just turns into cables in the first place. So that's where I could put the parts thing down um, right after the smelter over here. The, the, the constructor or whatever. Uh, except I can't get the reinforced iron plates. How do I get those? That over here. Storage container, miner mark two. Extract solid resources from the source node it is built on. Oh, there we go. So this would take from there, go into, yeah. Okay, okay. What does this cost? I kinda wanna just skip up to this. And then a storage container. Oh God, okay. Well. This is gonna kind of suck. Got all that. I just need the wire and the metal. Which, the wire is gonna take a little bit. Well, the thing is, I can actually afford it already, so I may as well go for it. It's just that I have to forge it all myself in these parts thing. Actually, I am an idiot. How about I put a constructor down, right? Because I can't do I can't do the fine metal. Reinforced iron, there we go. What does this require? Screws! No, there's so many extra steps now. <laughs> oh like I, I know exactly what I have to do, but setting it up is like really, really tedious. There's, there's a lot of steps to this process already. It's fine. It's just I didn't know I would be spending so much time in menus. I could see, like, the appeal of it all eventually paying off. You know what I mean? But it's, it's really daunting for me at the moment. Because I know what I have to do. Like, there's so many different parts that go into all these different things. So essentially, I could have a parts thing going that would help me forge the copper and then another one for the iron. And then I know exactly what this game's gonna do. It's just gonna introduce more and more and more and more resources, right? So my goal with today's video is we're gonna try and get one node automated today. Just one. Because otherwise I could be here all day. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just try and get, uh, try and get the iron thing set up. Uh, so that it's extracting from the iron, going on a conveyor belt, forging it, or, or I could do it with the copper actually, because it seems like a much more important resource. It doesn't matter which resource we do, but I just, that's the goal. Oh my God, really? I just want to have it so that everything's automated to the point where I could be like getting my iron forged. And then, no, I'll do it, sorry. I'm a little scatterbrained because this is overwhelming. I'll do it with copper so that like my goal right now will 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 get um, a copper node going down a conveyor belt, smelting that, uh, and then have a parts converter turning it into wire. That's that's my goal. Before we call it for today, because it's gonna be a bit intimidating. Congratulations, you have unlocked. Building Miner Mark 1. Building Storage Container. Hub um. Feature Additional Biomass Burner. Tenth Objective Complete Hub Upgrade 6. Note There are no notes. What? There are no nodes or no notes? Biomass. Biomass Burner. Okay, this is going to be a better one, right? Forms of biomass to generate electricity to power. Oh, so now I could just put those down all I want. A space elevator? What does that do? Project parts to complete phases of project assembly. Okay, I don't know what that is. Uh, concrete is the big thing I need. So let's check on our little guys down here. Because we should be able to get that, no problem. I hope fall damage isn't a thing. I'm gonna take him. Because so far the limestone is not a super big resource. So should I be using like... Should I be using conveyor belts to make like pathways, I wonder? 
I don't know, dude. Okay. Um. Make some of the concrete. Let's do this one step at a time. Okay. Just so that it doesn't get too overwhelming for me. <laughs> so I'll be able to move these little guys. Uh oh, there's because there's probably like vehicles and stuff later too. Oh god, this game. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Uh grab this. Invalid placement. Why? Is this not a node? Why is it invalid? Is it because of you guys? You guys in the way? Or is it because it's on this stupid godforsaken mountain? Yeah, I don't know. I think it's I think it's because of the mountain. Okay, so I need a better copper node then. Oh my god, that's so far away though. It's so far away. I don't know how to flatten out the terrain or anything though. That sucks. All right, let's stick with the iron then. It's by my base. <laughs> I wanted to like do this as a crash course for myself, you know, so that I could set up multiple phases of it, but that's okay. Because I guess the point is, if I have them doing it in the background, at the very least, it would, you know, save me time in the long run. Why is it all in valid placement? Why is it all in valid placement? Excuse me? Extract solid resources from nodes. Uh, it is built on the normal extraction rate is 60 resources per minute. The extraction rate is modified depending on resource node purity. Outputs all extracted resources into connected conveyor belts. Cool. But why is it invalid? It's just an invalid placement no matter what I do. And it's got nothing to do with where it is in the terrain. Because it's automatically going to that node. So the node is clearly like what it's supposed to mine. Or is it that I need to scan for a better node? No, it isn't. Do I gotta like mine this down a little bit and chip it away? There we go. Game day and explain that part. Yeah, okay. So, okay. Okay. So, let's let's go back to the stupid copper thing. Game Nan, tell me that. <laughs> okay. Or maybe it did, and I mean, there's so much text on the side of the screen that I just, I'm getting overwhelmed. Ensure a resource node is clear of clutter. I mean, it should be a little more clear what this is. Multiple biomass burners can be connected to the same power grid for increased capacity. Oh my god, really? Okay. So let's have this do that. And then this thing is not receiving power at the moment. Uh, but let's set up a conveyor belt. Why can't I do this? Missing one concrete. Oh. Okay. Uh, mm. oh, yeah. can, I wonder if I can build multiple hub areas. I guess I. that's probably what comes into play later. Great, it's already out of power again. Okay. Because, uh, yeah, I only built, like, just the basic amount of concrete I, concrete I needed. Uh, let me actually see. What's the conveyor belt cost? So the pole requires... Yeah, I need, I'm going to need a couple of these iron rods then. Because the... Uh, 
yeah yeah i mean you guys see basically like what's all happening with it all it's just i'm i'm kind of just trying to like figure out and calculate what i'm supposed to do with my brain and <laughs> my brain wants to like restart because it's overheating at the amount of uh things that i'm trying to set up here in a game that i am not familiar with at all so it's just kind of yeah also whatever this weird giant jellyfish thing is seems to just go in circles over and over can I? How far can I bring this? Oh, it starts costing more and more. I guess. I don't know. No, it's not costing more. So that's weird. Oh, no, it is costing more. OK. So now I don't have any more of the aircraft that I needed. Uh, what about the wire? Ooh, okay. So this is already close enough. No, that line is it lining up with that structure. Okay, that makes sense. So let's try that. There we go. I don't know what the distance is of these power lines. Oh, it can only do it four times. Okay. Oh, I see. Each of them has like a limited amount of power that it can output. Like it just goes four things can hook up to it. Okay. Can't afford. Oh, because I don't have any cable. Okay. So help me, I'm going to get this done. This is my goal right now. <laughs> Just so that I can have all of this going. It's uh, it's satisfying for sure, but I don't know. I, I will admit, I don't know if this is my kind of game. I didn't really think it would be. I do find the appeal, though. Like, I do totally understand why people get, like, addicted to this. But honestly, it being first person, oddly enough, is uh, what I find less appealing about it. Like, I think I might actually I might actually be a bit more interested in Factorio after this. <laughs> uh, can't connect more lines to this. Can't connect more lines to this. OK. Uh, so what I need to do is. Destroy that line. Oh, it gave me a second one. Okay. But then I could also do that. Aha. See, now we're big braining it. I need more iron, though. So that's just the forge. That's just step one. <laughs> Then, uh, and then the parts thing, like, because I know that eventually you would, like, for right now, it would just be like, okay, so what resources would I specifically need? This, 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 and this. And then you could set up so that all of those specific resources would be automated. And I know, I know, just with the type of game that this is, the further along that we would get in the skill tree, it would be like, oh, well, now now you can just select which items you want like down the whole tree you know that's that's what i think is going to end up happening okay can't afford missing a bunch of iron plates but it does actually like it does do a pretty good job just automatically going to that so that's interesting um, this is in standby, right? Yeah, it's idle, so it's not taking any power. I think. <laughs> but I need these, so I should probably. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder if I should try to set up one of the constructors eight wires 
Uh, but that's gonna require that's gonna require screws and a bunch of other things too. So let's do. Yeah, you know what? Let's try and get that going first. Because then I could just throw my ore in there like super duper easily. Woo! There's so many extra steps to this, bro. Okay. I think that's all it needed was uh was those two. And then I need more wires. Thankfully, like inventory. So oh, I see. So you can't get over encumbered so you can't move. You can just get to the point where you can't uh, fit anything else in your inventory. I see. Okay, so constructor. So we put that down. And then, oh, that's gonna be a bit weird. And then we do a conveyor belt. Oh, it just cuts, oh. Okay, I was not expecting it to just like work that well. <laughs> that's very nice. And this can do one more thing. Sweet, that's a lot of power drain, but uh, okay. So then this will make wire. Uh-huh. And this will do, how do I uh, select recipe? Copper, uh-huh. And then I still need to do this. Oh, wow, it actually works from very far away. That's very nice. And then, oh, it's coming. It's working. <laughs> Okay, this is oddly satisfying. This is the whole, this is what all of it was for. <laughs> it's beautiful. How do I get so much joy from something so stupid? <laughs> this is amazing. Uh, wow. It's glorious. Oh my dear god, it's so efficient. Holy crap. Now, how do I make myself more efficient with chopping down like trees and stuff, I wonder? Okay, let's put more wood in there. Uh, flower petals, eh, who cares? So then it goes into here, turns to copper bars, and then it doesn't shoot them out, because I don't have anywhere to it sh for it to shoot out yet. Organization, storage, there we go. Contains 24 slots for storing large amounts of items. Has an input and output for conveyor belts. Oh dear lord. So that's how you could, you could have the ore go into one specific area and then you can use this to split it so that I could have my iron go into sheets and rods. Uh, okay, well, I understand. This, this hurts my brain. And when do I even get into the adventure aspect of the game? Like, this is all the game is, and it's just gonna get, like, more and more crazy. I mean that in a compliment. It's just, it's so, like, complicated, it hurts me. Okay. Oh, and then I need metal sheets for that, okay. And then the problem, or iron plates, whatever. And then the thing is, it takes me this long to set one up just for copper. I would need to like do the whole process again to try and get one for iron. And then so on and so on and so on. <laughs> oh boy, okay. Well, at least I can get the wiring. Yeah, so that's just gonna store all the wire. And then, does it just do the one? Or, oh, later on, I bet you, I bet you these can split. And then, okay, okay. What's the, uh, what's the next upgrade cost? Crap ton of wire, that's easy, that's automated. It's expecting me to have all of this automated. Okay, I got my goal done. That's all I wanted to do. Um, 
And then I do not know how to make a more efficient... Ooh. One flower petal, 12 per minute. Oh my god, per minute. Oh, 80 leaves per minute is what, oh, I see, okay. Well, anyways, this was my goal. I just wanted to get this done. Again, I don't know if this is my kind of game. It's uh, it's very brain. <laughs> and I'm kind of unga bunga, let me beat that thing up in the sky, you know? Um, this is really, really cool, but this is kind of like, I think it would be awesome if this was the direction No Man's Sky went in because this is a building aspect of gaming that I could I, I could see myself getting super addicted to this but frankly speaking the reason why I stay away from these types of games is because it's just a black hole for time sink you know what I mean but I'm glad that I got to try the game out I did end up buying it on sale I'm gonna be real with you guys I am in a refund not because the game's bad or anything, just because I, frankly speaking, I don't have the time to invest into this game. Although this game is amazing, I'm gonna stop myself here because this could become like, this This is addicting in a very, very dangerous way. <laughs> That's my only criticism. Thank you so much for watching guys, really appreciate it. I know it was a really long video, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my ex first time experiences with it. And the game's beautiful too. Uh, but anyways, smash like stuff for more, buy the merch you want to support the channel. Oh, well, hi Mark, and have a wonderful day.